So in the previous video, we looked at how you can add uh, session labels to your session, uh, but now we'll look at why that's useful. So once you add labels to your session, um, you can go to the review panel here, which you can also open with a shortcut. Uh, and this basically has two sections. One is review, where it adds up all the totals of everything you're tracking. So it has a few default things at the top, like how many tomatoes have I had today? Um, what's my average star rating if I have that turned on? Total screen time, how much time in meeting? And then here you get your totals for your emojis that you give to sessions and the text labels that you give. And so as I also explained in the previous video, um, this allows you to, for example, I use this icon, this emoji for, to track everything I do for Saint and Lifeline. So you can see here that, for example, I have spent a total of two hours on, on Saint today, but actually that consists of some Saint market and user research uh, and also recording the videos and also a little bit of content. So the text label part gives me some granularity and the emojis you can kind of use for broader areas in your life so that you can add those up so to say you can see how much time am i spending on this big project or this big area of my life for in my case for example saint and then here you can go more detail in specific projects and tasks that you track with the text labels so that shows up here and then i'm not going to do this now because it will show a lot of data that i can't really publicly show but if you here you can change from i'm currently looking at today but you can also look at uh you know you can toggle through the day so this is saturday um, but you can also look at a week level or at a month level, the year level, and it adds everything up um, uh, for that period. And uh, you can also export this to CSV by clicking this button. Um, so this will export uh, either this day, this week, this month, and here your entire history. And you can indicate uh, if it should be the time should be shown in hours or minutes or seconds or whatever, and whether or not to include data about your breaks and about. Um, untimed activity at the screen so you can export there and then use it in other applications um, the other way to look at your data is in the activity log and the activity log is basically uh, just every individual session is listed and you can browse through that on a day by day basis um, and here you can make changes so for example if I want to say oh this Saint content thing is actually also Saint marketing user research then I can copy paste that here and then that's changed uh, I can of course change the emoji if I want that um, but I can also change the duration. You cannot make something longer than what it was tracked because um, otherwise it becomes a problem with future sessions that come after it, but you can make it shorter. So if for some reason you over track something, then you can say, oh, this actually was a, a bit shorter. Then you slide this and then you can see here like what the length should be. Um, you can also delete something. So I've been recording these videos. So because of that, I stopped, uh, started and stopped a lot of sessions. So this is a bit messy. So I could say, oh, this actually needs to be deleted. Um, and then I click OK here and make sure because you deleted some. So this is also how you can undo it and say, yes, I want to delete it. So now it's gone. Um, then the last thing you can do that's interesting to know here is that you can add uh, manually, you can add an activity. So let's say here, I want to say, you know, you can manually add a session or a meeting or we have some other thing I can you can track sports or meditation or sleep um, so I could say I want to track my naps so uh, I'll add here a nap of uh, 15 minutes uh, like this so then here and I can change the text label say nap click OK so it's stored and then if now I go to my review here I will see here the sleep and the nap um, and so if you would look at this over time then you could actually see how much time you've napped or how much time you spend running or whatever it is. So you can do that with the plus and you can say if you want to add it before or after the current um, activity where you where you hit the plus. So that's uh, very briefly how the review panel works. Uh, and so this is where labeling your sessions um, really becomes handy because this is where you can work with all the data um, and adjust it and see the totals and things like that.